Hey y'all, what's up? This is David Hellman for DallasCowboys.com. I'm joined by my guys Nick Eatman, Rob Phillips, and Brian Broadus. Yes, the Cowboys still have a preseason finale to play in Houston on Thursday night. For all intents and purposes though, we don't really care. We want to cut this roster down. We know that's what y'all are interested in. So for the second straight year, we're here in the studio to basically try to take this roster down from 90 to 53, figure out what this 2018 Cowboys roster is going to look like. I think you said it best. I mean, nobody really cares about the fourth game. I'm there's sorry. About, there's hey. a few guys that might. There's a few but, things to watch, but uh, we know we know what this team is kind of going to look like. Let's, let's get to the stuff that matters. Yeah, right? let's get down to the last 5, 10%. To do that, I'm going to throw it over to my guy, Brian Broadus at our Telestrator, who uh, I think you're going to guide us through this thing, right? I'm going to try and guide you guys through this thing as we say the cut to 53. Now, guys, this is not what we think as far as our own personal opinion. This is really what the Dallas Cowboys think. So let's all put on our general manager's hats and think like they would in this. And uh, we'll start off with the quarterbacks. I feel like Dak Prescott's a, a definite yes there, right? There. Feels like a lock, yeah. Cooper there. Rush? I mean, I, I can hear people at home saying maybe not, but Cooper Rush is making this team. Jason yeah. Garrett says he's comfortable as his backup. So All right. Brings us to Mike White. Is that your first – Is as we start, here's the first maybe? maybe? Now we're, we're talking maybes <laughs> yeah. now, right? Maybe. Yeah. All right. We'll put it right there on the maybe list. Okay. Any, any debate on that? No. no. Everybody's good with that? We're good. Let's shoot on to the running backs. Got the makes, Elliott, Smith, Olawale, the fullback. What about Bo Scarborough? I don't feel comfortable saying he's definitely making it, do y'all? No, I think he's, he's, he's a maybe. He's on the maybe list right Okay, now. Bo Scarborough turns into a maybe. Trey Williams. That's a cut, isn't it? Trey, I mean, he's already been cut once in this training camp. All right. So, yes. We'll take him right there. Darius Jackson. The way he's played the last couple of weeks, I think maybe line. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, yeah. I, I think you got you got a choice between two of these guys. Right. And the thing is, is what we're trying to do is we're, we got these maybes at the end. We're going to really figure out exactly. how these spots yeah. because people forget that sometimes how many running backs. Sometimes a running back is going up against a linebacker in the last spot there. So this is kind of why we're keeping these maybes to the end. Let's go Darius Jackson there, maybe. Maybe isn't Darius Jackson. Okay. And then Jordan Shun. He's really? a, probably a cut. I feel like he's had a good camp, but there's just too much, there's too much in front of him. Okay. That takes care of the running backs and the fullbacks. Wide receivers. This is going to get a little tougher for us right now here. The locks we have are Hearns, Beasley, Austin, Williams, and Gallup. Noah Brown. That's so hard because we just haven't watched him. And he's had an injury, so he's got a chance. You know, could he, he be on, on a, the team last year? Yeah, yeah. Could he be on a reserve list at some point? Yeah. I, is that I, a possibility? Let's, let's keep him right now on the maybe list just okay. to see. But, yeah, he, he hasn't done anything. So. Yeah. Right. Thompson. He had a good practice on, on he Tuesday. He had a great practice on Tuesday, and, and we know he's got the relationship with Sanjay Lal from Buffalo. He's a veteran guy. I don't feel comfortable saying he's a make right now. I think yeah. He's a maybe, too. He's a maybe, yeah. but when we get to that, I, he's That'll be a debate, he's right? He's a, he's a maybe because of this next guy. Yeah, okay. yeah true. Exactly. All right, now we move it down all the way over here. Then you got Lance Lenore. Well, I felt a lot better about it until Sunday against Arizona. Yeah. Uh, which, yeah, I, I don't think two muff punts just undoes a month worth of good work. But, it, I mean, it's something that you got away with the rest of your roster, too. Yeah, I say, I say maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe there. All right, now oh, this is now it looks like a debate. But Kay, we feel like he's going to be a cut, right? Yeah, just I think keep it you going. Can go and down then Cannon, the rest of that list. All the yeah, Anderson. We'll just go all the way down the list right there. So there, there are your cuts. Three maybes: Brown, Thompson, and Lenore. As we move to the next group, which will be the tight ends. Oh my gosh! All right, now we feel like the the locks would Rico. be Swaim and Jarwin. Rico gathers. Got to be a maybe, huh? Definitely Agreed. the biggest maybe of all. Maybe a maybe right there. How about that? Dalton Schultz. Now that's a draft pick on this football team. I personally think he makes the team. Yeah. What I, do you guys think? I have a hard time believing that the front office is going to part ways with a fourth round pick right. after one training camp, but give I mean he's had an up and down training camp. I think maybe let's maybe, go let's go maybe you on throw him, right. you throw him on as a maybe. Dalton Schultz the rest of the turns into a maybe right there. David Wells, we feel like he is going to get released. All right. So that goes to the next group right there. Will be the offensive line. Your locks. Smith, Martin, Collins. Frederick, Connor Williams, Joe Looney, Cam Fleming. Now, go over here to the other side of this board. Chaz Green. Mm. Let's just go ahead and just say no. I, I, that's he a had, no right he's there. He's done nothing to even – I have not maybe. seen anything that suggests 
why he needs a roster. I would say maybe on Edwards, though. Okay, we'll go with yeah. maybe on Edwards. I agree with that right there. Kyle Bosch was just at it, right? Yeah, I don't know. So that's a no. That's a no. That's yeah. a no right there. Bunch of guys no Campos, who having cups Obama, of coffee. Bye, Mama. And Diaz, right there. Okay, Kadeem Edwards would be the only maybe we got in that group. All right, moving on to the cornerbacks. Makes Awuzie, Jones, Lewis, Brown. Now we're into that Duke Thomas, Ward, Alumba, Kelly. Kelly really a safety, but then White. Mm. How do you feel about Duke Thomas? You can make a case for a few of these guys. Right, I think there's a, a several maybes in here, including yeah. Duke Thomas. Yeah. I think you can put him on that line. He's yeah. on a maybe? He's the most yeah. experienced Okay, this how guy. about Ward? Yeah. Another one. Maybe. Maybe. maybe there. How about Alumba? Uh, he I, just hasn't done enough. I, he yeah. showed some things at times, but you guys want to put a no on there? I'm going to go think, ahead and say Yeah, no. let's go with no. No on right there. there. Right. Kelly, we say probably no. Going to lean toward no there. And too. then White. That's draft I, pick last year. Draft pick last year hasn't he hasn't been bad by any stretch, but again, you're talking about you run out of spots at yeah. some point. Yeah. I, okay. Let's go no. Right. Go right there. Okay. I, I think Thomas and Ward have done the best out of that. Back I would have. There agree. you go. All right. Going to the safeties, we got Woods, Heath, Frazier. Now we're into trying to find a fourth guy right here. Do you really feel like the fourth safety is on this team it right now? Might not be. I know. It but might we not be. Get but this. for the first safety this purpose, this yeah. Mm, yeah. Oh, of course. How about Huff? Uh, oh, man, he did not have a great game against the Cardinals. Nah, but he's, he's because a, of the numbers, I think he's, he, I think yeah. they're all maybes, really. He's other a maybe than, right there. Sanders. Sanders is an out. Out. Yeah. Let's, let's, been here Robinson, a maybe. Robinson, you know, we obviously we said we don't care about the Texans game, but he's a guy to watch in that Houston game. And Johnson's a maybe with his history with Chris Richard, I think. All right, Definitely. there you go. You got the three maybes right there with Huff, Robinson, and Johnson. Let's go on to now the linebackers. Makes... Lee, Jalen Smith, Van Der Esch, Joe Thomas. You see, Johnson's a no, right? Yeah. Yes. Johnson's a no. Damian Wilson? I think, I think, he's a yes. I think he makes it. He makes this team. He's a yes. Let's go with a yes on So we'll here. put a yes right there. Kyle Cuero. Mm, nah. That's a no. Not feeling okay. it. Okay. Pinkins, Pinkins is a no. Lanning is a no. And March Lillard. I think March Lillard makes this team, guys. So do I. You guys Feel comfortable I mean, enough these, there? These Let's wait on him for a second. See where okay. we got. I think we'll you go with a maybe there. You Talk about wait on and Covington. Both of these guys. Covington's a wait on too. Right? But I think Vic, who's been out for a little bit. Okay, I there think you they go. Both have right a chance, there. Though. So yeah. the maybes are March Lillard and Covington, and with Damian Wilson making the team. All right, defensive ends. Lawrence is a make. Gregory Charlton Tapper. You thinking about him as a? I think he's a maybe right now. Maybe go right now. To, go back to draft picks. Okay, Armstrong we had is a lock like on us. there, right? Like it. Coney Ely. He's a maybe. He'll be a maybe right now. See, Coney see Ely's what the a maybe. Look like. Austin Larkin is an out. It didn't work out. And so that's it on that side. So we got Tapper and Ely right there. Okay. Here we go for the defensive tackles. Makes Crawford. I think I'm gonna see him more inside with him. Malik Collins, Antoine Woods. I think, I think he's on the football team. I think he's a – I think that's two crazy. thumbs up. Yeah, no, yeah, absolutely. Crazy. All right, just want to make sure. Jihad Ward. Feels like a maybe. Maybe. Yes. Okay. Maybe. Jihad Ward is a maybe. Brian Price, we kind of feel like that he's going to be in, in the mix there. I feel comfortable with that. How yeah. about Reed? Reed's a cut? Yeah. Just, yes. Anytime a guy doesn't have enough time, it's hard to bet on. Daniel Ross. I'm going to call him a maybe. Yeah. I maybe? Think maybe for now. Lewis Neal. Love him to death, but I don't think I see don't it. Don't see it. Don't see don't it. See and, it for him. and Dayton if, Jones. If not for the knee injury, I think he'd be a yes, but yeah. you've got to put him a maybe right All right, we'll put him on maybe. Maybe an IR candidate yeah. like we've seen. Okay, so the maybes are Ward, Ross, and Dayton Jones. All right? Got a nice little list of maybes. And here. the kickers, that's kind of everything yeah. kind of takes care of itself right there. Good preseason for Brett Maher, though. I yeah, hope it was a good preseason. A Let's get to the maybes. All right. Here we Let's are. Let's have maybes. some fun here. I think, I think. By the count we've got, we've got 43 guys now. So okay, now so you got to pick 10 guys out of this list right here. Okay. Oh, boy. All right. Where do we want to start? Where do you want to start? Do you want to start at the top? <laughs> why, don't, why, don't we, why don't we all pick a guy and see if we get, get one? I mean, Dave, who, you, you can save it. Throw a lifeline to somebody. Who do you want? If I can – all right. Me, personally, I'm not saying I want to throw him a lifeline. I think Deontay Thompson is going to be on this team because of his speed Great. element, his veteran status, and his relationship with Sanjay Lal. I think he winds up on this team. Like Everybody it. agree on Thompson? Yes. Yes. Thompson gets a star. I'm going to go Justin Marsh Lillard. 
I think he's shown enough as a backup linebacker to make this team. I, I agree with that. Okay. I, I, yeah. I think he's been really solid in a variety of different ways. He can be versatile. He can play special teams. I, he's, he reminds me of the Lenore of the defense. Like, just it's, it, no matter what you do, I'm just not seeing it. But uh, I'll go with it if you guys want. If you guys go in there, that's fine. All right. I had to make sure you Arch Lillard right. gets a star. I think they like uh, Bo Scarborough. Uh, to the point where you just what's not to like when you're just looking at him. Uh, I think he's a guy that's done a little bit there. Third running back. I do like Darius Jackson, but I'm gonna I'm gonna say Bo Scarborough makes it. I think you lean toward the most recent draft pick, and I always, I call him unique. He's just he's a big guy uh, with some moves and some special teams ability. I'd be surprised if he doesn't make okay, it. Okay, so you say Bo Scarborough gets a star. Why don't you take one, Brian? I'm gonna go and just think that they're not gonna do anything with the lottery ticket. There you go. I think Mike White yeah. is going to be on this team. I think that's smart. Yeah, I, the quarterback's a different way of rolling. Mike White makes this team as the third quarter. Dave? I don't know how long he's going to be on this team, but we talk, you know, Tyree Robinson, rookie safety. You don't have a lot of safeties. Right. He's young. Marqueston Huff still getting over an injury. Not a great showing Didn't against the Cardinals. Didn't play very well the other day. For right. I, I say go with the undrafted rookie who you can maybe mold. Like I said, maybe he's not on the roster for long, but, you know, on cut weekend, I think Tyree Robinson maybe sneaks onto the 53. Give him a star right there. You said, Nick, you said 10 spots, right? Yeah. They got five guys. So five there. other guys you got to put on this football team. Now, we know after initial cuts, things can change, but they still need more backup offensive linemen. And Kadeem Edwards is their backup guard at this point. Okay. So if you're cutting the team down right now, I think he's he makes the 53 as your backup guard. Okay. So Kadeem Edwards is going to get a star. That gives you six right there with four more spots. We are running out of spots right here. Okay. Now think about who you got here. I'm doing now, Noah it. Noah Brown will probably could be on an IR situation. I, I, yeah. I think that they might put him on IR. Remember, you got Dalton Schultz sitting here right now. Covington's another draft pick. You're talking about some defensive tackles. You got Lance Lenore still sitting on this board. I got one. I'm just you guys. Let's just go. Let's just debate it because I'm I'm putting Rico Gathers on the football team. I over Dalton Schultz. I don't know about over. He's he's in though. You might have to put them both on there. I, I just can't imagine this team cutting him. I just don't. I, nobody separated themselves from the tight end position. They've done it twice. I, I mean, I can definitely see them going they light They've done it twice with end. a Hall of Famer, Jason Witten, there, who, true. you know, probably wasn't his biggest cheerleader anyway. So, I, I think. This is this is where I struggle because you could you keep in a fullback, right? Right. So, you could go three tight ends, but I don't see them. I'm with Dave. I don't see them cutting the fourth round tight end either. Yeah. So, do we just go heavy at tight end and go with four? Well, it's my turn both to of pick. guys. I want to pick Rico, but if, okay. you, but if you guys are going to veto me down, that's fine. No, we're not going to veto. No. I, you, want, you want to do that? It's what, they're, it's what they're going to do now. Let's go Remember. Schultz. Let's go Schultz now. All right, Schultz. And we'll see where we stand. All right, Schultz is on. Schultz gets a star right there. Okay. Let's, we, we need to look at, like, positions of depth. Are we lo- uh, yeah. defensive end? Is, you know, where, where do they stand with the that, Ely, Jihad Ward? Daniel yeah. Ross, Jihad Ward, and Coney Ely is an interesting conversation. I think Daniel Ross has had a really nice preseason. They've played him in the starting role a little bit at the one tech – or at the three technique, excuse me. But Coney Ely can do two jobs. Yes. I mean, he can play inside and outside. He's a veteran. Uh, they brought him in in free agency. I don't know which way I lean there, to be perfectly honest. Daniel with you. Ross didn't play badly the other day. In no, the game. he hasn't just, played badly in yeah. this whole camp. Yeah. Has Cody Ely been better than Daniel Ross? But the position flex. That's. I don't think he's been better, but he can do two jobs. You want to break the tie for us, Brian? I would probably, I would think because of the two jobs that they would go with Cody I kind Cody of Ely. agree with you. Yeah. Okay. There you go, right there. You're down to two spots Let's now. look at cornerback right now. You got Duke and, and Traverius Ward on this list. Right. Uh, this would be, what, the fifth guy. If I had to pick, I would say Traverius Ward. I think he fits the, the, the body type of what they're trying to do. He's had they kind of know game. what they have in Duke Thomas, don't they? Yeah. Then the body type, you're right about Now, kick that. return, if Deontay Thompson is healthy, which seems like he is, yeah. he's the kick returner for me. So I, I got him on that squad. Ward? I can live with that. Okay. All right. And we've got another draft pick still sitting up there, Chris Covington, and I could definitely see them keeping him too. But now we're getting down to okay. one spot, right? Okay, well, think about it. Now you got Lenore, who's had a great camp. You think about Johnson, who's a veteran guy. Ward, you mentioned. I mean, here's a draft pick with Covington. Rico Gathers is still on the board. Okay, if Chris Covington gets released, it gets picked up by the Bengals, and he has a pretty good career, are you going to be upset? I mean, yeah. probably, yeah. yeah. 
Um, if Rico Gathers gets cut and picks up by somebody else and turns into a 50-60 catch guy, you're going to be more than upset. Mm -hmm. That's what I think the team they have to look at. They've done all this work to get Rico to this point. Are you ready to let him go? If you let a Covington go, you draft another seventh-round linebacker. You don't draft another freak tight end who can do weird things like that. I don't, I'm saying tight end. I, I, I agree with you. I don't. I, Six wide receivers. Four tight ends. Yeah, it feels like a lot. I don't know how you make the numbers work, but I just I feel like Rico is going to wind up on this team. Yeah, and, I mean, and, we're, and we're light at linebacker hey, too, I believe. At this if point. you yeah. keep either way there on that right side of the board, there's four draft picks right there. Yeah, you got to cut three of them, unless Noah Brown might be go straight. I think to IR. he's going to go to IR. I think Noah Brown will probably be an IR. Guy. Hey, Jah Jahad Ward, we thought going in was good. Oh yeah, yeah. That's, that was yeah. He had a great off season. Yeah. There's an, Darius Jackson was a draft pick. but they Rico gathers? I hit it. I go Rico. Give me the star. 53. There it is. You know, usually the last guy is Mr. Irrelevant. I don't think that's not, the case. Not in this so one. much on this team. Uh, it's not going to be the case. We still have a preseason game in Houston to get to Thursday. Roster cuts are this weekend. Next few days, we will know for sure what the 2018 Dallas Cowboys look like. Keep it tuned to DallasCowboys.com. For any and all news and information, thank you so much for watching.